So I've been busy trying to improve my sleeping arrangement in the Bronco here. So as you see, I've built a deck clear across on the back and it's actually held up by two bys. I had to trim them to the right height. I used two by eights and trimmed them down to six and a quarter. And in the corners, I used, let me move this. There's tie downs that came with the car. Remove those and use the eight millimeter spots to anchor these down. So I had to build some corner blocks up there. And as you can see, I split one. Of course. Um, this one here, there's a remnant of that tie down there, but I had to move this in because as you see, the tailgate has that funny shape to it. So, oh, that's blurry. Okay. So as you can see, I shaped the, the deck that way too. I used the tie downs again up at this height so I could actually tie stuff down. So it's a little crude, the cutouts around that, but I did want them recessed so I could slide boxes or furniture in here without bumping into them. So that covers the whole back area. And the reason I went up so high, different than a lot of people do, is because I wanted a completely flat sleeping surface after I fold the seats down. So let's fold these seats down and I'll show you what's going on here. So as you can see, the seats slope even when they're fold down flat. You can see that corrugated thing there. It's about a three inch bump up. And that's what most people try and match is a deck that matches that. So to sleep, you'd be flat back here and then sloped up another three inches in the front. And I didn't want that for extended camping. So let's put down this other side. As you can see, I got some other plywood here to go in. So that's the two seats down. And then what I got, I'm gonna try and do this with one hand. Okay. Let's back up here a little bit. So this is cut out to go around the fender here. Hi, I'm videoing my install here. And got dowels there to tie into. So line up those lines. Boom, doweled in. So if I lean here, it won't pop up in the middle. So that's enough for one sleeping arrangement. And then I have this spot I could set a cooler or a cargo box, or I do have another piece of plywood I'll set in and I can show you the whole arrangement. Okay, hold on again. Okay, so here's the other piece. Again, it's into the dowels. And I actually was careful to make everything square and perpendicular so it fits pretty tight. So that's the main deck. Now, unfortunately, that's not tall enough for me to sleep in. So what I need to do is to come around here. that forward and I don't have power seats so so the seat goes forward and what that does and I don't have it here and I haven't figured out how to do it but I've got one more piece of plywood that comes out 15 more inches from here over to the center console I got to find a way to hang it from here 
and I've got, I was thinking of a piano hinge and I could just fold it out of the way. And I may still do that if I can get a pretty low profile piano hinge. And then just a couple little goofy feet to hold it up there on that end. And then if I turn around, get up and have to put my knee on it to reach up front or something, it's not gonna all go forward to the sky. So that's, uh, I've got the piece cut. I just need to figure out how to install it. So that's how I will sleep in this thing. And actually the last trip I took, I traveled with this seat up like this all the time. I've got a little cooler that actually sat here and it was awkward to get into it. So it kept me from snacking too much while I was driving. And this area right here was actually pretty handy from the driver's seat to reach over and set things like binoculars or um, a beverage or something that I wasn't into yet. So that may be how I travel if I'm going solo. But quickly, this can flip out of the way or lift out of the way. The seat goes back, I can have one passenger. And if I arrive in a destination to see family or something, these two pieces can come out. They can store flat back there or set them in a garage. These seats go up and I've got a full five passenger arrangement in just about two minutes of conversion. I've got one other thing I'm working on, and that is here. This is where the jack is. So as you see, that I could probably actually wiggle the jack out the way it is, but back in there I've got a tow strap and jumper cables and other stuff. So what I've done is I've marked out a panel here that I will cut out and I can lift it out to get to that. Plus, lifting that out, I can store a lot of cargo here. This is, this is six inches of clear from here to here. So I can put a lot of things. I can put my little tent, um, things I don't normally use, but I take with me, um, you know, the ax and the tree saw and stuff like that. I can just stick it in there. In fact, this is bolted down. I could leave it there all the time. So if I'm out on a Sunday drive and find myself in the woods, I've got some gear with me. So, uh, and I think with that cargo, I probably don't even have to take a cargo bin, a little bin with me on my trips. That way, my bags for my clothes, my CPAP machine, I do carry that uh, tire inflator set, and that's about as big as my CPAP bag, and that doesn't really go here. So I have to carry that up on the top. Uh, one thing I will say also is this footwell with that seat forward is big enough for my uh, spare battery, my second battery that runs my CPAP. And I'm thinking about maybe investing in a refrigerator if I'm going to do any long-term camping. Right now I have a cooler and I have to keep ice, get another bag of ice every couple of days, which is not a big hassle, but if I want to be away from civilization for more than that, I might want to invest in a fridge. So that battery could run that too. And I want to be able to get to it easily so I can switch out from nighttime where I'm drawing power to it to daytime when I'm driving. I'll put the charger on and recharge it each day before I hit the camp at night. The battery will probably run things for a few days, but I do like to keep And if a refrigerator comes online, I don't know how much that'll draw. But the CPAP, it'll run that three or four, maybe five nights. And that's about all I use the battery for, charging phones and stuff. Just, I do that while I drive. So, um, it is bare plywood now. I'm just gonna test drive it and see if it works okay, if I have to modify it. I think I'll probably end up putting some carpet down, at least on this permanently installed piece in the back. It's permanently, it's permanently installed, although I only have four screws because I need to lift it up and do the cutout. But I'll probably carpet that so it's a little more civilized looking. It'll look sort of like the original carpet down here. In fact, some people have actually taken this off and put it up as the floor. And then it's got these little molded things around these tow hooks and stuff. Um, although they don't really work. They work down here at this level because this lockout down here is, is fine. But up at this height, it gets in the way. So that shape really wouldn't work up there. And I might as well leave it down there. I like having carpet here so I can slide things in and out easier. So I'll probably carpet at least this part. 
I probably won't bother with the camping side of it, but just for things there. Uh, one thing that will be a bit of a problem. Oh, I'm going to put this top down. So that's what it looks like when you just open the tailgate. So lifting groceries in here, that might be a bit of a hassle. I may have to raise this each time to get many groceries, but we'll see. That way, if I do have this cutout, I was thinking of making the cutout big enough to where I could actually just leave that at home and only use it when I'm camping. And then groceries could go in the inner part. But I've got to consider when I cut it out, it's going to have to sit on some props or some hangers off the other things. I want it to be structurally sound because I'm going to be crawling around in here all 295 pounds of me. So, plus some gear on it. So I've got a few more considerations, but that's the basics of it. And I think I'm ready to drive away today to the Super Bowl party I'm going to. And then think a little more on these other two pieces that I've got to design. So that's that.